Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel the Thomas project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make search in Laravel. So first of all, let's can have a input field over here. So let's go back to our code. And here you can see currently we are in the view underscore product.lane.php and here uh, you can see product title description and div class div underscore dg. So before this, we are going to have a form. So in this form, we are going to have a input field. So input type will be search and name will be search. And after that, we are going to say here input type submit. And for this submit button, we are going to have a hello and hello will be search. Let's just give a bootstrap class. We are going to say class. It will be in BTN. BTN success or you can say secondary let's say our secondary secondary set then refresh here there you can see we have a search option and the input field let's just add a little bit of design so let's go back and let's go at the top and here i'm going to set input then put hard bracket we we'll set type equal to it will be search then we'll give to second bracket then let's say wait it will be 500 px and height it will be 60 px let's just add margin left it will be 50 px if we now set it then refresh here there you can see so right now whenever we write something here and click on search it will show us that certain data so for it let's go back and in the form we are going to mention a action and we'll also say our here method it will be get let's also mention at the end of csrf and in this action we'll give to second bracket so in this to second bracket we'll set here url to first bracket to single position and we're going to set here product underscore search let's save it and let's go to web.php and get this out so let's go to web.php let me just copy this on and paste it here. Our route, it will be get. And our route name will be product underscore search. So we are going to say here product underscore search. We we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be product underscore search. So let's go to our admin controller. Did this function. We'll go to our admin controller. Let's go down. Here we are going to say public function product underscore search to first bracket and here we are going to request the hello for search so we say here request dollar request then we we'll give to second bracket here so here you can see that over here we write name equal to search so in the admin controller we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar search you can declare it anything it's not like you have to declare it as search you can declare any other thing. So we we'll see here our search equal to dollar request. This arrow sign will say here uh, this search name equal to search. This up. And after this, we are going to write a query. So here, let me declare variable. And this variable here, uh, that variable we are going to declare will be this one. Here you can see we declare a for each loop here dollar product as dollar product so this variable you are seeing over here we are going to declare the same variable not any other variable we are going to declare the same variable over here dollar product then we we'll give it equal sign then we are going to mention over here our table model name which is product then we we'll give over here double prone then we we'll give a function here fire and here let's say we want to search the product file product title and product category by those two options so in the product table if we put our product table and here you can see the title is title over here title like this and categories like this so here we are going to say title comma we will give to single position we say here like then again comma to single position we will give a percentage sign We'll give it dollar, then we'll mention this dollar search here. Dollar search, give it dot again to single position and we'll give percentage. After that, okay, let's just give this arrow sign. We'll just say over here, get. 
or no, we need to say over here paginate. Paginate and it will be free. Uh, normally we need to say our aggregate, but we are going to say paginate because we use paginate in our this page. That's why yeah. in our b underscore letter PSP we have this pagination. So that's why you also need to mention uh, paginate over here, and paginate will be free. So after this, we are going to say return view to first bracket to single condition and our view is in the admin folder admin this net dot php view underscore folder so we say here admin dot view underscore product we'll say over here comma compact to first bracket single position it will be product so i'll explain don't worry so here what we are doing is that whenever someone write over here or search over here something and click on search option what it will do is that it will send a search over here then we will search for that certain name or whatever in the product table we write over here for title if it matches with the search a little bit it means if the title matches with the search a little bit it will show us that product so it will send that product to this page which is b underscore product and in the b underscore product uh, we have the for each loop over here dollar product as dollar products so using this for each loop we are showing all the data and we are using the variable dollar product that's why you need to use that same variable if you use a different variable it will not or so if we now just save then if we now refresh here and let's say we'll search for woman which is product title if we just say over here woman then click on search then you can see it will only show us the product with the title woman uh, let's say over here robo or arrow then click on search it will show us this one let's say you want to show the product using category as well so for it what you need to do is here uh, after this we need to give another okay let me just remove this for now otherwise you will get confused we'll give this arrow sign then we we'll say here or fire then to first bracket then let me just copy this from here control c control t and instead of titan we are going to say category then we'll give this arrow sign then we'll say here paginate it will be three let's save it then let me refresh here and right now we can also search the product by category as well for example let's say uh, here you can see women electronics and electronics we want to search the product whose category is electronics so if i just say over here electronics then click on search it will show us only the electronics product and if i search over here main then press enter there you can see it will show us main and there is main in woman that's why it is also showing us woman as well let's search for okay let me just click on search and okay let me just change the category from here let's make it from electronics to toy click on update coda and this time let's search for toy click on search there you can see it is showing us toy so this is how you can make a simple search in laraben if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe i really appreciate that and i hope to see you in the future tutorials